Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good day. This is Jeans from Magamalayan, and today we're going to talk about thermal expansion. So, most substances expand when the temperature is increased. It is usually expressed as a uh, fractional change in dimensions or volume per unit temperature change. A linear expansion coefficient is usually employed in describing the expansion of a solid while a volume expansion coefficient is more useful for a liquid for a liquid or a gas so a linear expansion as you can see on the screen is the change in length or other linear dimensions of an object due to a change in temperature okay and it is given by this formula delta l is equal to alpha times l naught times delta t where delta L is a change in length, alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion, L naught is the original length, and delta T is change in temperature. So to remember that formula, we will use the mnemonic ALAT. Okay, so I'm just going to write our mnemonic over here. Uh, I'm just going to activate the pen mode make the color to light blue and then this should be a lot so we can easily remember the formula that we will use for linear expansion now we have here the volume expansion it is the change in volume of a substance due to a change in temperature of the substance in the substance so it is given by this formula delta v is equal to delta b uh, v naught times delta t and uh, beta is the uh, thrice of the linear expansion co coefficient so the variables here uh, for our volume expansion are the following so it's it's the change in volume delta V is a change in volume V naught is a regional length delta T is the change in temperature beta is the coefficient of volume expansion and as I have said earlier beta is thrice the linear expansion so it is 3 times alpha so now we're going to solve some problems involving thermal expansion Okay, so let's read this problem. A surveyor's steel tape measure is calibrated at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. A reading of 200 feet is found when the temperature, uh, temperature, the tape measure is used to determine the width of a building lot when the temperature is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. How great an error does the temperature difference introduce? The coefficient of linear expansion of steel is 6.7 times 10 raised to negative 6 over degrees Fahrenheit. So what are the given values for this problem? So the given values given is the L0, which is the original length. The original length over here is 200 feet. The alpha is also given. The alpha is our linear expansion coefficient. That is 6.7 times 10 raised to negative 6 uh, over degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm just going to put degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to solve for delta T. And then well, we know that the final temperature is 65 degrees Fahrenheit okay and the initial temperature is 10 degrees Fahrenheit so our delta T will be equal to 55 degrees Fahrenheit now the required in our problem what we need to find is the delta L okay so uh, uh, the change in length okay so the solution for this problem would be uh, the simple formula that we use when we're finding for the change in length 
in our uh, substance considered. So we remember the mnemonic, which is alat. So alpha times l naught times delta t, and then we have here uh, substitution of values. So six point seven times ten raised to negative six times l naught two hundred times fifty five. And our final answer would be 0 0.0737 feet. Here is our final answer. Okay, so this will be our last problem for this video. So let's read and pause the video if you want to solve it. So how much water overflows when a Pyrex vessel filled to the brim with one liter? or 1,000 uh, cubic centimeter of water at 20 degrees Celsius is heated to 90 degrees Celsius. The coefficient of volume expansion of Pyrex and water are 9 times 10 raised to negative 6 over the degree Celsius and 2.1 times 10 raised to negative 4 divided by degree Celsius respectively. So we're going to list the given and the required. So, and then the ink color should be light. Right, yeah. Okay, so the given values for this problem are the following. So, V0 is equal to 1 liter or 1,000 cubic centimeter. And then our delta T will be, of course, final temperature minus the initial temperature. So 90 degrees Celsius minus 20 degrees Celsius is equal to 70 degrees Celsius. And then the beta or the volume expansion coefficient of water is equal to uh, 210 times 10 raised to negative 6 divided by the Celsius and then finally the volume expansion coefficient of Pyrex is equal to 9 times 10 raised to negative 6 degrees Celsius what we are required to find here is of course the, the water that over flow from the Pyrex vessel. So how do we find that? So it is the volume overflow and our volume overflow will be equal to the volume of water that uh, surpassed the volume of the uh, Pyrex. So we're going to subtract that, subtract that with the volume of the Pyrex vessel. So here's our solution to this problem. So uh, V overflow is equal to V water minus V Pyrex. So it will be uh, V overflow equals V sub water. So V sub water will be when we're going to expand the formula delta that the water times V naught times delta T minus the the volume expansion of the Pyrex and then the same uh, variables. Now we're going to factor out the common variables that is the V naught times delta T. So V naught delta t factor that out beta water minus beta pyrex okay so we're going to uh, supply the variables so 1000 times uh, 1,000 times delta T would be 70 degrees Celsius and then the beta water uh, 
210 times 10 raised to negative 6 minus beta pi rex will be 9 times 10 raised to negative 6 and then our final answer will be 14.1 cubic centimeter okay so that's it for thermal expansion i hope you learned a lot and please subscribe to our channel for more videos